assalamu alaikum welcome back with another tutorial hope you guys are doing well painting the skin white for double sided object may be difficult for you as it is for me today i will share a trick to make this process easier keep watching this is our dummy scene as you can see we have a double sided suit and its deformation is not correct so let's try to fix it by painting the skin white first of all i want to isolate the object so that we can get a better and clean view now go to paint skin white tool and quickly adjust the skin white yeah the newly painted skin white is affecting the deformation but we have some overlapped uh, back faces here because we have only painted the skin white on the outer side now we have to do the same thing for the inner side as well actually this is why i hate painting skin whites for double sided objects because it costs you twice the work and the times Okay, uh, let's uh, fix the inner side quickly. Now, let's test it. We still have the overlapping issue and let's not go deeper. Actually, I just wanted to demonstrate or recreate the problem. It takes a lot of time to achieve an acceptable result in the ordinary way and it's hard to get a non upper left deformation every situation you can also complete the white painting for the outer side first and then try to copy the deformation value from the outer vertex to the nearer inner vertex using the component editor but it is highly time consuming and unprofessional now let me share my way of dealing with such situations first of all we will duplicate the current double sided object and delete the inner faces of the new mesh then we will bind this new mesh to the joints and fix the deformation and finally we will copy the skin white from the single sided mesh to our original double sided mesh that's it now let's apply the technique to our scene press ctrl d hide the original object and rename the new one we will only keep the outer faces and delete the inner faces so to do this quickly simply select the face loops and press delete we will do the same thing for all the border face loops yeah as you can see we have selected all the inner faces now delete all of them okay uh, we made a single sided mesh now out of the original double sided mesh to make sure you can use two sided lighting from the lighting menu you will be able to see the back faces of a single sided mesh if the two sided light is turned off now i will bind this new mesh to the same joints our old mesh is binded to and i will paint the skin white to make the video shorter i am fast forwarding the process okay i am considering the skin white painting process done let's check the deformations yeah it looks good forget about the other side we will actually mirror the white from the right side to the left side select the mesh go to mirror skin white option box from the menu we want to mirror in the y z axis as you can see from this icon and we will mirror it from the right side to the left side so make sure the positive to negative option box is unchecked click on apply let's see 
yeah it's it's working we will now see how this thing works in our double sided mesh unhide the double sided suit object we will copy the deformation information from the single sided mesh to the double sided mesh so go to default pose select the single sided suit object first then the double sided suit object and go to skin copy skin white click on the option box reset everything to the default setting and click on copy now let's see the magic wow it's working as expected guys i'm, I'm so happy to see the result this is our double sided object which is the original mesh and this is our duplicated single sided mesh as you can see we have same type of deformation uh, yeah that's it uh, this is the trick i wanted to share now it's time to recap the full video first of all go to the default pose duplicate the original double sided mesh delete the inner faces of the duplicated mesh and delete the history from it screen bind the new single sided mesh to the same joint our double sided mesh is binded to paint the skinoid of the new single sided mesh copy the skinoid from it to the original double sided mesh yeah that's it uh, that's the end of the tutorial please go to the comment section and share your thoughts about my tutorials thanks